Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I want to introduce you to the newest member of our family. I've had her for seven months but finally making a video about it. Meet Leila, the Japanese village dog. <laughs> so, story time. We found Leila in the middle of the desert in California near my boyfriend's house and she was just a little puppy we think about eight weeks old and this guy was just breeding all these dogs they were all chained up there were so many innocent dogs all chained up in the heat it was so heartbreaking we tried rescuing them but the owner came so i took one puppy and hid her in my shirt we tried calling animal control and the cops but they both didn't want to come because it was the middle of nowhere for them there was no real address and because of that, they didn't want to come. At first, I thought Layla was a Labrador. Her ears were floppy and they were down like this. And she just looked so much like one. If you look at comparison pictures of a lab puppy online and her, they look the same to me. But then I went to Embark.com and bought a DNA kit. And then that's when I found out that Layla was a Japanese village dog. So, what is a village dog? 75% of the world's dogs don't have a breed, but they do have a name. Meet the village dog. There are about 250 million pet dogs on the planet, and more than 420 recognized dog breeds. Sounds like a lot, right? But there are an estimated 1 billion dogs on Earth. Once all the pets are counted up, that leaves 750 dogs who aren't domestic, but aren't quite wild animals. These are village dogs. It's almost easier to define village dogs by what they're not. Village dogs are not breeds created by humans, nor are they entirely breedless. They're not the same as strays or mongrels, and they're not feral. Just so you guys know, this is how it looks when I got my test. It says Japanese or Korean village dog, but I just go with Japanese village dog because I love Japan. And it says Japanese first, so that's why I'm like, she's a Japanese village dog. Many years ago, when wolves began scavenging our hunting camps, they became gradually attuned to human life. Genetic changes in those wolves over time led to tameness, small body size, an early age of first reproduction that soon after yielded what we see today in Japanese or Korean village dogs. Quick facts. For a male, the height is 14 through 19 inches and female 13 through 18 inches. For the weight, male 25 through 45 pounds and female 19 through 39 pounds. Village dogs. Medium-sized dogs with pointy snouts that freely breed and live near people around the world. From present-day Nepal and Mongolia are direct descendants of the first domesticated dogs, which originated at least 15,000 years ago in the same region. Types of village dogs Village dogs exist all over the world. In general, village dogs are mid-sized with pointed snouts, pricked ears, and brownish coats. The most common and most studied village dogs, all named categorized for their geographic region, include Indian Peria Dog, East Asian Village Dogs, Central Asian Village Dogs, European Village Dogs, and African Village Dog. I'm very curious to see if anyone else has a village dog that they want to share and what their personality is, you know? Because Layla, she's a little sassy. But she's such a sweetheart, oh my gosh. One thing that I love about Layla is her eyes. Aww. When you look deep into her eyes, you see so much soul in her. And if you have any questions and want to know more about Layla, let me know in the comments below and I will try to answer as many as I can. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fun videos. Bye! <laughs>